<laughs> I tell S23 4G, this is it. But like, this is it na lang. Google! Wait, before I start, let me just tell you something about this phone. This is really special. Una una, this is a very affordable phone. Sasabing ko na yung price. 3,000 pesos. What? Tapos na. And with that 3,000 pesos, merang 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. It's got a 50 MP AI rear camera. Merba siyang 6.6 inch, 90 hertz display, 5,000 milliampere of battery at USB Type C. Nandaw siya. By the way, merchant dalawang variants. Meron siyang 4128 at meron siyang 8128. Yung 8128 ay only 4,000 pesos. By the way, sa mga hindi nakakalam no, si ITEL ay uh, under ni Transion. Si Transion ay isang mother company ng tatlong brands na to. Kilala niyo po sila. Ito po si Techno, Infinix, and of course, si ITEL. Well, of course, niyo alam si ITEL. But, tulad ni Techno at Infinix, sulit din po siya. But by far, in terms of pricing, ito yung pinaka-aggressive in terms of yung specs. So, I'm just skeptical. Ako. I, I've seen some idle phones before, but now this is quite different. Actually, meron sila sa North Edsa, SM North Edsa. Pero kasi, I have yet to see an idle phone as good as this. Kasi lo pasila ng pandemic. And nung time na yon, parang hindi pagano kasulit yung mga phones na nagalabasan. But now, since umu okay na lahat, nagsisi balik na po yung mga sulit na phones. Kumaganda na po yung specs at yung mga pricing. Thank you so much. That is why I'm so excited to bring to you the idle. S23. Let us unbox it. Tapos si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uhu. Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, punta lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Oh, by the way, meron pala tayong big giveaway ngayon. I almost forgot. Guys, I'm giving away five. Not one, not two, not three, but five. I tell S23 phones to five lucky subscribers. Mechanics, Descriptions below. Good luck. So, ito po si Itel. This is an orange and white box. Orange and white po yung branding nila. Ito po yung harap. It says here 8 gigs of RAM. It's actually 4128. But it says here 8 gigabytes of RAM. Kasi gumagamit siya ng magical RAM extender na kumukuha doon ng extra RAM from the ROM. So, it's 8128 and alam niyo ba yung kanyang 8128 version naman ay 16. 1 to 8 daw. Dahil sa <laughs> RAM extender. Sa likod, ito ba yung mga specs niya? Kat this, 5,000 mAh battery, 12 days of battery life. I cannot wait to see what's inside. Oy, magazine style. Yung kanyang plastic sarapan. Okay, preview ng likod ng phone. Oop! Okay, man. Underneath, we got the cardboard. Uy, hard case to ah. This is hard casing. Meron tayong warranty card right here. And malita charger, gamay po gamay. Juts. <laughs> okay, so medyo juts pa ngayon. Pero guys, kahit juts siya, ang tanong, meron ka bang ganitong earphones nakasama? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Sa loob, meron ka pang cover, ear covers? Oh, nice. Oh, stig na. <laughs> and so meron na siyang ano, wax. Huh? Don't worry. No, kapag papag-giveaway ko naman to, kasama pa rin yung wax ko dyan. So, Kapal ng mukha mo! And last but not least, is the USB Type-C cable. And that is not it. Meron pa isa. The SIM ejector pin ay may special plastic. At ayun na po yung lock. Uy! Para siyang spaceship dito. Di ba? Bahala ka sa buhay mo! Wait! Meron iPhone. Meron iTel. Ah! So, iPhone? I telephone. You, you, not, you not actually yung ano, idea nila. The history of the name. The joke lang. Do not quote me. Last mo nila. Eto na po yung phone. Boom. Okay, so it's not an iPhone look. Look at that. It looks circular. Isang circle lang po siya na maraming sensors sa loob. It's not the trend right now. Yung parang maraming one, two, three, four na malalaking bilog. Although it does follow the box type design that we see on an iPhone. Flat back, flat sides, or curved corners. And in terms of pagka social na kanyang design, this is actually quite social. I have reviewed a lot of phones throughout the years, no? At this price range, puro cheap tingnan ang mga phones. Like, really. But this one, look at that. Lalo pag malayo. Like, evolved na talaga ang design ng mga cell phones sa entry level. Alam ko itong shape na to ay pinauso ng mga mid-range. I see it all the time, mid-range phones shaped like this. Although this one looks 
different dahil ito. It's got a 50MP ultra camera at the back. Hindi po siya triple camera setup. Dalawang camera lang po ito. Yung isa po dyan ay parang design lang or sensor ata yan eh. And the other one is the LED flash. And then meron siya parang almost invisible line when you angle it out. And it creates a shape that divides the camera module. The back is pretty much minimalistic. No? Malinis po tingnan yung likod. Especially this white color. Of course, meron tong parang magic din. Guys, you have to see this. Tinama. So meron kami tong powerful UV light contraption right here. Nakapag pinindot namin yung button, nalabas yung parang UV lights. And that is affecting the color of this phone. Kaya lang, Vince, wala naman akong UV lights sa aking bahay. And I don't see any use cases for this. <sighs> Ba't ko naman gagawin yan? Well, demo lang naman to. Of course, you can find UV light everywhere sa labas. Yung sunlight po natin may UV light. Ibig sabihin po niyan, Kapag nilabas po niyo yung phone, nasa beach po kayo, kahit nasa labas lang, and directly tinatama ng sikat ng araw yung likod niya, magbabago po ng ganitong color yung likod. Ayan po. Magic. And mabagal po bumabalik yung kanyang color. But that is a nice touch, no? We, we're not really seeing this kind of technology at this price point. So, alam ko nakikita niyo to sa mga phones na worth... 20,000, 30,000 pesos. But now, ITEL has made this kind of thing available to us at only 3,000 pesos. Pwede nyo na siyang ipakita sa mga kaibigan nyo. Parang, uy, pare, dinan ba ito? Man, nagbabago nga. Na parang show off mo siya. Or pwede siyang icebreaker sa mga chicks. Pwede ka lumabas, no? Pakita mo sa kanya yung ganito, tapos explain mo UV light. And then, na-mesmerize siya. Dahil nagbabago yung itsura ng color ng phone. Hindi, wow. And then, dito na mag-propose, will UV my wife. So it's back to its original color, white. It can actually turn into purple or purplish or violet kapag tinatamaan ng UV light. For some, it's a gimmick. For some, it could be really special and something na pwede niyang gawin. Now let's cover the sides of the phone. Power buttons, right side. Volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa ilalim, yung kanyang headphone jack. A microphone. A nice for 3,000. Mayroon ka ng USB Type-C port. The speaker, sa taas wala po. And sa left side is yung kanyang SIM tray na merong dual nano SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot for expandability. Wow. That is on top of the 128 GB of ROM na po. Naku, sa gatong presyo, meron ko ng 128 GB. Kaya doon niya mag-save up to 30,000 plus na photos. Actually, hindi yata nila naiintindihan kung gano'ng valuable yung gano'ng kalaking storage. Before, we're only getting 332 to 32 at this price. Minsan may 64, but never 128 GB. Do you know what that means? It means kapag ka nag-aaral ka, nagwo-work ka, mas convenient na po para sa inyo yung trabaho or yung new schoolwork. Hindi ka nabibili na extra SD card, mga ganon. This is all you need. And SD cards are slow. SSD na po to. 128GB. And with that, you can also install sobrang daming games. No? Dati kasi parang one game lang, 32GB. Tapos ka na. And kulang pa yon. 64GB, okay. Maybe two games. Three games. Ito guys, napakarami kang pwedeng ma-install at ma-download dito sa phone na to. Thank you, ITEL, for bringing us this kind of technology for so less. Wait, di ba tayo tapos ha? This is the only price point also na nagbibigay sa inyo ng 90Hz refresh rate. Kasi finally, no? Never pa na isang brand nag-provide ng ganito klaseng technology at this price. Well, last month, there, there was 4,000. But never 3,000. This is now the first to provide 3,000 pesos lang na 90Hz refresh rate. Kasi finally, no, may experience mo na yung sinasabi ko sa mga videos ko. Na kung gano'ng smooth, mag-scroll sa Facebook. Ayan po. Ganyan po yung itsura niya. Ma-feel niyo na po yung smoothness. This is a big deal, no? Kasi what matters is not yung parang mas mabilis pa siya mag-load and things like that. What matters here now is yung feeling of speed through smoothness. Which is never pa na-experience na iba. Parang feeling mo tuloy na ang smooth-smooth na inyong phone ngayon. Although yes, there are some minor stutters here and there because naka-unisock processor po siya. That's right, it was never mentioned in the, the box. Oh, Unisoc! Pero kapag na-start po na may application, after some time, a uh, few seconds nga lang, bumalik na po siya sa pagiging smooth. Siguro sa initial load lang. But wow, this is incredible, no? My journey as a reviewer, no, for the past few years, alam ko na yan, 2018, 2019, alam ko pag entry level, sobrang lagi ng itsura, sobrang frame drops, kapag kakaka-open mo rin ang app. Ang pangat ng experience dati, but now, it's a smooth experience. Look at this. I can go back and have a smooth experience. Wow! Wow, this is a big improvement. Yeah, no? 
No more yung mabagal na para maglalag mo na siya ng konti tapos papakita na sa inyo yung application, no? I tell, you're doing something different here. And competition is good. So by the way, no, uh, HD plus display lang po siya, 720p, 6.6 inch IPS LCD display na 90Hz refresh rate po siya. Now don't worry kung hindi siya 1080p na display. I, I don't care. Mas important sa akin yung refresh rate kasi it allows me to have a smoother experience while also retaining better battery life. No, mas mahaba po yung battery life nyo. The higher the resolution, mas mabilis po maubos yung battery life. And oh, water drop notch pa rin siya. Who cares? Ganito lang price niya. Ito pa yung sa YouTube. May HDR siya. What? <laughs> HDR siya. Guys, may HDR yung kanyang display. It allows 720p HDR 60 frames per second dito sa YouTube. What? Although yung brightness could be better. Yeah, the, the, the brightness is not amazing. Pero parang nangyari ito, may HDR display ka na sa 3,000 pesos. Ayan po siya, it's not super bright. Pero okay na siya indoors, no? Kapag namalabas ka na ng bahay, doon mo na siya maramdaman na medyo dim siya and malabo. Okay, so far so good. But what about the performance? Ito na yung pinaka-importante. Kasi yung naka-unisock ka siya, which is an issue for some. Eh, unisock processor. Parang ito mo yun eh. Tapos naka at least MediaTek or Snapdragon. Kapag ng mukha mo! Pag nakita niyo po yung kanyang ang pagkakabish mo, napapag na po yung isip niyo. Handa ka naman. One, two, oh! 223, 224,000 almost. Okay, so okay ba ako? No! At this price range, dati, it's only 80,000, 90,000 points and to the benchmark. That is why, no? Kasi, konti lang kayo nakaalam nito. Alam nyo dati, naka Helio A22 lang, mga ganon, Helio A series. Usually, yung mga gitong phones. Now, for this price, 3,000, meron ka ng 220,000 points on Tutu. Wait, points are not everything. Siyempre, papatan sa inyo kung anong itsura niya sa Mobile Legends. <laughs> Dito, ako nagulat, okay? <laughs> yung graphics... What? Ang ganda! Ito si Gushon. Okay, tinatin yung ano ah, kung smooth ba talaga siya. Smooth ba yung combo ni Gushon dito? Okay, and... Ha! Ah! Okay, so ito lang yung nakakagawa ng ganito at this price. Um, maganda po yung graphics. Napaganda po, napaka smooth po. It does tell me na by default naka low refresh rate siya and nag-warn po siya kapag nag-high refresh rate ako, baka daw bumagal. But no, that's not the case. Mabilis pa rin siya at ang smooth mag-combo dito, pinatry po namin siya kay MJ, ang aming napagaling na ML videographer. Siya po yung gumagawa lahat ng mga gameplay videos namin dito sa Unbox Diaries and napakalupit po pati sa Call of Duty ni MJ. Ah, uh, sa tagay mo ba bro? Kaya mo ba mag uh, smooth combo kay Gushon? Oo po sir. Ay, wait po. Ina, ina. Lalabas niya. Kuna niya the big guns. Ayan eh, yung ginagamit ng mga pros guys. May sleeve sila. Ayan na, tinatest na niya. And boom! Smooth! Oo nga po sir. Kaya ang kaya po mag High level gameplay dito. Gamit yung motion. Kaya pang pro, no? Wow. Wow. It is reliable, especially sa mga high ranking games. Kaya po siya pang high rank. Very accurate. Although, syempre, iba pa rin yung, ano, ah, yung mga iPhone, mga flagship. Alam mo yung difference ng mga ganun. But this one, yes. Kung seryoso ka, sa smooth and responsive gameplay, this, this is gonna win your heart. Thank you, bro. Wow. Okay. Ano ang ganda nito yung graphics? Ang ganda ng graphics dito. Dati kasi basura yung graphics guys sa ganitong presyohan. Okay, so far so good. Kamusta naman siya sa Call of Duty? Sa Call of Duty ito po yung settings niya, no? High refresh rate and medium graphics. So ito, feeling ko, there's gonna be a, a little more work needed for optimization. Feeling ko kasi na kayang-kaya niya itong game na ito. Kaya na napansin namin na medyo may parang may mga frame drops sa gameplay. And also na na-feel ng aming uh, videographer na si MJ na medyo mabigat yung feeling ng controls. Pero of course, syempre, ito yung first release niya. Hopefully, may karoon ng patches in the future. More optimization for this phone. So na naman, since naka 200,000 points siya sa Antutu benchmark, why not? Let's try it with the heaviest game sa Play Store, which is a Genshin Impact. Here we go. Okay, so syempre, yung ating expectations are low here. Kung sa Call of Duty or Mobile Legends ay dapat talaga okay siya. But here, I would have to say na playable naman siya. No? Lowest graphics po to. And well, mga 20, 30 FPS po yung nakuha namin dito. Don't expect too much. Ang mahalaga na lalaro sa Kenshin Impact on a phone <laughs> na ganito kamura. So naman. Now, is this phone perfect? Well, not really. We took a lot of photos with this phone. 50 megapixel pala yung kanyang sensor dito. And, hindi namin alam yung other lens ha, kasi dual camera sa likod. But, sa spec sheet, 50 megapixel lang yung kanyang nilagay. By the way, yung kanyang selfie camera is 8 megapixel. And here are the pictures we took with the phone. Napansin namin, no? It's pretty okay on standard outdoor shots. Malinis naman siya. Pleasing naman yung itsura ng subject. You do get some really decent blurring naman sa 
background. Although, hindi siya sobrang ganda. Not too sharp, not too... Parang decent camera lang siya, guys. And also, tinan nyo yung parang lighting sa likod, no? Sabog siya. It means, wala pong high dynamic range yung phone or yung camera app. And look at this, yung picture with LJ sa studio. Yung light source po, nagbi-bleed yung kanyang light doon sa mukha niya. Having this hazy look sa mukha niya. Ayan po, parang may haze. May fog. And ito po yung tura ng selfie picture ko. Cute, di ba? Ah, uh, ay lang, so... Kaya ba lang, uh, mag-decide if you like the picture or not. But here are the facts. Alam nyo, hindi naman ako ganun katindi sa criticism for this phone, no? For the price, bakit pa ako aangal pa? This is really good for the value. And here it is, yung kanyang presyo. For 1 to 8, 3,899 pesos lang. And yung 8, 1 to 8 naman, ay 4,499 pesos lang. Amazing. If you're into gaming, uh, social media, normal usage, this is the best that money can buy right now. 3K, 4K. Ang hirap talo nito. I've tried the other. Uh, alam niyo na yan. Meron na kasi reviews na 4K, 3K lang na phones on my channel just recently, and this kind of blew them away. Well, not in the camera department, but in the performance department. You will see me comparing the other phones on my website and in my channel as well. So kung ina bangan yun, I compare ko to sa mga ganon. Hot 30i, Tech Spark 10. And if you want to see that video, mag subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! Thank you.